should liquor and spirits only be sold at liquor stores. That's what one bill at the Capitol is proposing in an effort to help alcohol retailers. But some opponents say that proposal would go against ballot initiatives voters passed to get the items on Colorado shelves in recent years. Fox 31 political reporter Gabrielle Franklin beating us both sides of that issue. Yes, sponsors of a bill here at the state capitol say that alcohol is too easily available here in Colorado, and that's putting a burden on small businesses. But opponents of the bill say that Colorado voters already decided on the matter. We have joined together in opposition to House Bill 1373, an anti-business, anti-consumer, job-killing bill brought forth by the largest liquor stores in the state. And Retailers, unions, and former representatives from the Liquor Enforcement Division raised concerns about a bill at the Capitol that would require grocery stores to sell wine and beer in one area of the store as opposed to throughout the store. In a grocery store, you can only sell in one area of the store. And that's actually the rule. But, and they're, they're local, they get approval from their local government about where they can put it. But then they add these end caps, and that wasn't really the intent of the voters, I don't think. So the bill is just saying, let's just put it back the way people thought it was going to be. It would also limit the alcohol content of the drinks being sold at grocery stores. In a ballot measure, it said that um, grocery stores and convenience stores could carry wine and beer. So with them carrying wine and beer, they did not say hard alcohol. What we're looking to do is to basically carry out what the voters intended with the ballot measure and ensure that the spirits are sold by the small liquor stores. Sponsors say right now there are about 28 active licenses across Colorado that allow grocers to sell spirits and hard liquor. This measure would phase those licenses out and not allow any more of those to be produced in the future, an effort to help small businesses. It would also allow restaurants to buy more alcohol from liquor stores rather than a distributor. Right now there's a cap on how much alcohol a restaurant can buy from a liquor store. And the restaurants want to be able to, from time to time, if they have some kind of an emergency need, go and buy from a store instead of waiting to get their uh, shipment from the distributor. Colorado Opponents of the bill say if it passes, it will infringe on what Colorado voters agreed to. Today we are asking Colorado lawmakers to vote no on HB 1373 and honor the wishes of Colorado voters who have made it very clear that they like the convenience of having a choice when they purchase wine, beer, and spirits. And the bill has bipartisan sponsorship here at the Capitol. It's scheduled to be heard in committee next week. Reporting outside the state Capitol, Gabrielle Franklin, Fox 31.